name of the new chapter we are going to study is population human beings are the producers and consumers of the earth's resources and it is important to know how many people are there in a country where do they live how and why their numbers are increasing and what are their characteristics the census of india provides us with the information regarding the population of our country population size and distribution india's population size and distribution by numbers as on march 2001 india's population stood to be 1028 million which accounts for 16.7% of the total world's population these 1.2 billion people they are unevenly distributed over the country over a vast area of 3.28 million square kilometers according to the 2001 census data uttar pradesh with a population size of 166 million people it is the most populous state of india and it accounts for 16% of the country's population himalayan state sikkim it has population of only 0.5 million and lakshadweep has only 60000 people half of the indian population lives in just five states these five states are uttar pradesh maharashtra bihar west bengal andhra pradesh and rajasthan the biggest state in terms of india it has only 5.5% of the total population of india in this image we see distribution of population over different states in india india's population distribution by density so population density it is calculated as number of persons per unit area and india is one of the most densely populated country of the world population density of india in the year 2001 was 324 persons per square kilometer density varies from 904 persons per square kilometer in west bengal to only 13 persons per square kilometer in arunachal pradesh rugged terrain unfavorable climatic conditions are responsible for sparse population in these areas assam and most of the peninsular states they have modern population densities hilly and rocky nature of the terrain moderate to low rainfall shallow and less fertile soil these have influenced population densities in these areas northern plains and kerala in the south they have high population densities because of the flat plains with fertile soils and abundant rainfall three states of northern plains are with high population densities population growth and process of the population change this population is a dynamic phenomenon numbers distribution composition of the population are constantly changing this is the influence of interaction of three processes namely birth death and migration let's see about the population growth growth of population it refers to the change in number of inhabitants of a country or territory during a specific period of time say during last 10 years and such change can be expressed in two ways in terms of absolute numbers and in terms of percentage change per year absolute numbers added each year or decade it is the magnitude of increase it is obtained by simply subtracting the earlier population from the later population and this is termed as absolute increase rate of population increase is an other important aspect increase of 2 persons for every 100 persons is the base population and this is referred as annual growth rate since 1981 rate of growth started declining gradually and during this period birth rate birth rates also declined rapidly it is very much essential to realize that india has a very low population very large population and when a low annual rate is applied to a large population it yields a large absolute increase so when more than a billion people increase even at a lower rate 
the total numbers being added becomes very large india's current annual increase in population of 15.5 million this is large enough to neutralize the efforts to conserve the resource endowment and environment the declining trend of growth rate it is a positive indicator of the effort of birth control despite that the total additions to the population base continues to grow and one day india may overtake china in 2045 year to become the most populous country in the world process of population change or growth there are three main processes of the change of population they are birth rate death rate and migration the natural increase of population it is the difference between the birth rate and death rate birth rate is the number of live births per 1000 persons in a year it is a major component of growth because in india birth rates have always been higher than the death rate death rate is the number of deaths per 1000 persons in a year and the main cause of rate of growth of indian population has been a rapid decline in the death rate till 1980 high birth rate and declining death rate this led to a large difference between the birth rates and death rates and it resulted in a higher rate of population growth since 1981 birth rates have also started declining and resulting in a decline in the rate of population growth the third component of population growth is migration so migration is the movement of the people across the regions and territories migration can be internal or international international migration doesn't change the size of the population but it influences the distribution of population within the nation migration plays a significant role in changing the composition and distribution of the population in india most migrations have been from rural to the urban areas because of the push factor in the rural area migration is an important determinant of the population change it changes not only the population size but also the population composition of urban and rural populations in terms of age composition in india the rural urban migration resulted in a steady increase in the percentage of population in cities and towns 